Hi, YouTube family. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today. I'm going to be doing some beauty aha moments, things that I have had happen to me through my beauty journey that have really changed the game for me. So this is kind of like a tips and tricks video, but what I'm doing is I'm just giving you a few of the ones that I feel like are really game changers for me. I wanna get right into the video, but before I do, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you leave because I would love to have you here. You guys all hit the notification bell if you would, because that's the only way that you're going to get notified of any videos that I'm having. And please, everyone, if you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up because it does help my videos get out there to everybody when as many people as possibly watch this video, like it, I'm gonna be having a hit video. And that's what I'm really always striving to do is to be able to get out there to as many people as possible. Okay, let's get into the tips or the makeup aha moments. Okay, this is one that has been in my life probably for the past 18 months to two years. And that is a color correcting regimen on my skin. I did a video very recently, and I'm, I'm gonna link that up in a card up here. I did a v video very recently where I did color correcting at 50 years old. And I had the yellow, the orange, and the green in there, I think it was. And I use these every single time I do my makeup. The reason is, is because color correctors can do some of the hard work before I ever put on any sort of a foundation or a concealer. If you, as you age, you find that the less foundation and concealer that you can use, the better because you have texture on your skin, you have large pores, you have dynamic wrinkles underneath your eyes, the crepey skin, that kind of thing. Well, if you can use a product like, like this in a thin layer and then put a thin layer of foundation on top of it and just use the bare, the bare minimum amount of foundation or concealer that you can use instead of having to put more on to cover up, then your skin's gonna look more natural and more like skin instead of like makeup. So that would be my number one aha moment is definitely when I learned to use color correctors. My number two aha moment is just a tip that I am passing along. Lots of people don't like to do this. Some people do. And this is using a liner on the inner rim, the waterline in there. You guys probably think it translates across the camera into a black liner, but it is actually a navy blue liner. The reason is, is because a blue liner will take those whites of those eyes and it will actually make them look whiter. So you won't need to worry about having, you know, if you have super red eyes that day, this is one trick that can really help you to look better is using the navy blue liner. The same concept goes with your lipstick. If you wear a red lipstick, if you wear one that is more along the lines of having a blue undertone, your teeth are gonna look whiter. So that is an aha moment for me. Another aha moment came for me about a year ago when I started using, this is just a lip liner, and when I started using my lip liners in a different way. I was one that really didn't like the overdrawn lips. I still don't. I think they can look so fake when you do a super overdrawn lip. But what I've learned from this is that if you take and you overdraw your lip right here at the base, right there in the middle, and then right there at the cupid, cupid's bow, and you don't overdraw them anywhere else, you're gonna look like you have more of a pout to your lips. This was huge for me because I don't have big lips at all. I never have, I've had fairly thin lips, but this gives a little bit of the illusion that yes, you do have a bigger pout than you actually do. The other thing is to put a gloss right there in the middle, or if you prefer you, you know, wearing like a matte color or putting like maybe just a shine metallic color right there, right in the middle, it just reflects the light and it helps your pout to look a lot bigger. So that was another aha moment for me. Another aha moment came when I realized things about contouring. If you have not seen any of my contouring videos, I do have a contour video that I'm fairly proud about. It's done really well on my channel and it's called How to Contour a Fat Face. When I figured out that I could carve out my cheekbones, carve out across my chin and bring down my high forehead with, with the illusion of using contour, 
it was such a big deal for me. I'm gonna link that for you guys so that you can see it. I will be redoing that video for you this year. Um, I know that when I did that video, it was before I got my microphone, so I sound like I'm in a fishbowl kind of talking, but it has some really good information in there for you. So that was another aha moment for me. Okay, the last aha moment that I'm gonna leave you with today is about using a beauty sponge or beauty blender. All of you are probably very familiar with these, but my aha moment didn't come with these because I have used a, a wet beauty sponge as far back as I can remember. I used to use the triangles from CoverGirl, and um, so I've used this as far back as I can. This is a much nicer form of it, but the aha moment that came from that is when I started using a primer water or um, Max Fix Plus, anything like that, and I would spray the bottom of that sponge, and then I would go ahead and do my foundation. It just gives that extra little bit of hydration, and it also has a tendency to help it sheer out without looking cakey at all and I love that. So those are five tips that I hope you guys enjoyed, five of my aha moments. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Please give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about anything that I've said today. I'd be happy to answer any of those for you. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks or aha moments that have come for you. I'm sure that we've all had those in our illustrious makeup careers that we've had. Thanks again, you guys, for being here with me and supporting me as always. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. I hope that you're all having a great day and you have a wonderful week or weekend. And I'll see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.